In this video, we're going to build on what we learned in the last lesson, in the last video about classes. And we're going to use the same class that we used before, uh, the cell phone class. And we're going to make different classes or different instances of the same cell phone class. All right? And that's a very powerful tool to remember we can make multiple instances of the same class. All right? So um, let's go ahead and import the cell phone class all right and let's make a program that will make five different cell phone instances and we want to have the user input the different um, instances of that uh, of or the different attributes in each one of those instances. So let's make a main function. And we're going to make a local variable make list. And this local variable is going to feed into a different uh, function we're going to make, make list, right? And we're going to print in this main function, here is the data you entered. And then we want to display the list. And we want to display phones. Okay. And so we're going to create two different functions. We're going to make we're going to make a function that says is make make that makes these five it makes five lists that <coughs> hold uh, the data for the class and then we're going to display all of the all the data in in the class by making a function display list all right oops and so let's make that function uh, make list. So we're going to make list, make a function that makes a list. And like we said, we wanted to make up to five instances of the phone class, right? So let's make this list. Let's make an empty list, all right? And then we want to prompt the user to enter data for five phones. And we're going to use a for loop to create the list and also constantly prompt the user to enter, you know, up to five uh, data points for that for uh, the attributes inside of each instance of the, the cell phone class. So we'll go ahead and type in for count in range 1, 6. We're going to print phone number. And then we want a string for count plus we want the colon and then we want to again use a local variable man input enter the manufacturer And then we want to have the model number and put enter the model number. And then we want to enter the retail price. And again, we have to do some trickery with the, the flow employee number. Be 
retail price. I want to print all of this. And so now that we've uh, we've done all this, we want to create a new cell phone object in memory and assign it to a, a phone variable. So we'll go ahead and add cell phone dot cell phone main mod and retail. So from this, we're going to add the object to the list. So we'll go ahead and say phone list dot append phone. And append is one of those um, those special functions that uh, you know you read about or done some research about Python. Um, you should have learned that in mo module, I believe, too. So. Um, and then we want this function to return a value. So you want to return phone list. So this is a value returning function. So from here, we want to make another uh, function display list that accepts a list containing the cell phone objects as an argument and displays the data uh, stored in each of those objects. All right. <coughs> so. Let's go ahead and display, create display list. And then we want it to contain phone list. And then from here, we'll go ahead and create a for loop again. Uh, we'll go ahead and use uh, the variable item as a place to store the the data and we'll go ahead and print item dot get manufact which if you remember is uh, here as a as a data structure in the class cell phone and then we'll print item that get model I forgot to initialize the function in there and then we'll print item that get retail price and we'll add a space so now we have a function that <coughs> creates a list of five uh, of five uh, instances of the cell phone class, and then we have a function down here that will display the list that was created. Using uh, using another for loop, and then we have to obviously call the main function that will call both of these sub functions up here. And so let's go ahead and uh, try to run cell phone list, and I think I found a syntax error here. These would be capitalized P for phone. Um, let's check this code, make sure it's all good. And looks good. All right, so let's go ahead and execute run phone list. All right, so let's enter manufacturer, say Apple. Mile number, newest 11. It's a thousand bucks. Uh, Samsung. So, Galaxy S10, say it's 900 bucks. Say a, um, say it's a Nokia. I don't know Nokia's model. Let's say it's a 14. It's gonna be 600 bucks. 
go say um, Hellway, and it's going to be 700 bucks, or sorry, uh, about 40, 700 bucks. And uh, the last one, let's say it's a uh, mm, running out of manufacturers here. There's not ma that many around anymore. Let's say it's a Microsoft. You know, I know they don't make phones anymore. But uh, let's say it's Model 20, and it's going to be 300 bucks because it's going to be used. And so the program uh, just printed out reprinted out all the 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 classes that we created and then spit out the data again using a list and uh, that's what we have so we utilize a couple of uh, a couple of uh, concepts we've learned before with lists for loops creating lists and then inputting the data uh, into a class and creating multiple instances of that class. So, um, having said that, uh, hope you guys found this uh, useful and interesting moving forward.